Welcome to News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. News Busted was the top viewed comedy channel on all of YouTube last week with over 400,000 views. And here's a message to all you hate-filled, mean-spirited lefties who wrote vicious comments about us. We couldn't have done it without you. Thanks. <laughs> and oh yeah, our laugh track thanks you too. <laughs> During last week's CNN debate, Wolf Blitzer asked both Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama if they would consider running together, but neither said yes. However, they did pick out the perfect campaign theme song, Ebony and Ovary. How quickly they turn. Clinton aide Sidney Blumenthal is facing drunk driving charges in New Hampshire after being unable to touch his nose while walking a straight line. The equivalent test for Republicans? Being able to hold their noses while voting for John McCain. <laughs> Mitt Romney is pulling out all the stops and trying to derail John McCain's momentum since winning Florida. In fact, Romney is financing a new documentary about McCain. No country for old men. <laughs> Jerky camera movements in the new movie Cloverfield are giving many viewers headaches and nausea. You know, movie theater owners haven't had to clean up this much vomit since Kathy Bates took her clothes off in About Schmidt. <laughs> Some political pundits believe using race as a tactic might hurt the Clintons in the general election. In a related story, Michael Richards endorsed Hillary for president. <laughs> Britney Spears' manager recently said the singer has mental issues. In other news, Rosie O'Donnell declared she kinda likes to eat, and Louis Farrakhan said he's, quote, not a big fan of the Jews. <laughs> and finally, speaking of Britney, a new study estimates that the media coverage of Britney Spears is worth $120 million to the U.S. economy. In fact, Congress has just added partying with Britney as part of the new economic stimulus package. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Be sure to subscribe to our videos. We'll catch you next time.